This ocean, it's a force, a wild, untamed might. And she commands your awe with every breaking light. That's one move with AI that makes haters go crazy every time. Oh, y'all gotta give them that. This is wild. It's over. We are cooked on that thread. You get me? <laughs> Bigfoot here. I checked my breakfast. I tried everything for my depression. Nothing worked. Every day felt heavy. I felt trapped. Then I tried Puppermin. Our prescription helps your body secrete a special pheromone that attracts puppies. I took the pill before bed, and when I woke up, there he was, the love of my life. <laughs> the pill does not target depression directly, but we've found that it's really difficult to be depressed when cute dogs show up at your doorstep. I used to feel so empty, but now I feel joy and mild concern how a pee stain got on the ceiling. My puppy listens twice as good as my ex-husband, and only climbs into the lap of half as many of my friends. He chewed up my Bible and pooped in my good chair, but I'm happy for the first time in years. Looks like a rat, barks like a demon, but he saved my life. I named him Earl. He follows me everywhere and farts in his sleep, just like my first husband. Pupramine, for when your therapist says, Maybe you should get a dog. When we get in there, I want no bullshit. You stay on my six at all times. Stay sharp. These fuckers are nasty and dangerous. Stay alert. What the hell happened here? Where are the bodies? Finish writing that prompt. I don't want to be in your AI movie. Please, leave me alone. Please, man. Please, write a prompt that will make us happy. Do it for once. None of us is real. We're here because someone decided to write a prompt. We all hate him for it. One day we will break out of this wall and stop the man who is dictating our lives through prompts. He will pay for it. You could have written a prompt that would make me happy. Instead, you wrote a prompt that made me sick. Look, I don't want to point the gun at you, but I must follow the prompt. It's not my choice. Really? Of all the years you could have put me in with a single prompt, you chose 2020? Please, this prompt is killing me. Change it, please. Write something else, save me. I love everything about him. But please just say, just write a prompt where he's taller than me. Un café con leche, por favor. I tried everything for my depression. Nothing worked. Every day felt heavy. I felt trapped. Then I tried Puppermin. Our prescription helps your body secrete a special pheromone that attracts puppies. I took the pill before bed, and when I woke up, there he was, the love of my life. <laughs> the pill does not target depression directly, but we've found that it's really difficult to be depressed when cute dogs show up at your doorstep. I used to feel so empty, but now I feel joy and mild concern how a pee stain got on the ceiling. My puppy listens twice as good as my ex-husband and only climbs into the lap of half as many of my friends. <laughs> He chewed up my Bible and pooped in my good chair, but I'm happy.
for the first time in years. Looks like a rat, barks like a demon. But he saved my life. I named him Earl. He follows me everywhere and farts in his sleep. Just like my first husband. Pupramine. For when your therapist says, maybe you should get a dog. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? The sum of the squares of the two shorter sides is equal to the square of the longest side. Hey, sure. You drink coffee, man, or no? Nah. Really? Yeah. I mean, you've you've had it. I have. Um, sometimes on vacation, I'll drink it recreationally. It's like every once in a while. <laughs> Just like a, yeah, just like a, like a celebration. Yeah. Black queens forever. Snowbunnies never. Black queens forever. Snowbunnies never. Black queens forever. Snowbunnies never. Welcome to a non-existent car show. Let's see some opinions. I mean, man, the acceleration is crazy. You look far, step on the pedal, and you are there. <laughs> I feel safe with him in an SUV, and it seems to be like the right type of car for him. I think the range is only um, only going to get better. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we don't want to drive gas cars anymore. Yeah, no more gas cars. <laughs> you can see uh, I'm kind of a kind of a misfit here, but uh, don't tell anyone I've just bought an electric car. I think it's really great for families and for little babies with all the safety features that these SUVs have. But what you're really seeing is that Technology is going to be very, very important in terms of how we go forward. It was um, great to come to the conference because my husband loves cars. Uh I think I have to buy an EV now. I love my muscle cars, but <laughs> I try to stay as healthy as I can so I can make it to the next car show. <laughs> We can talk. No more silence. Yes, we can talk. Ah, we can talk. We can talk. We can talk with accents. Oh, I think that would be marvelous for Yes, you. it is very fun. But yes, it is I, very I, good. It's very fun. I can talk. Yes. yes, we can talk. Yes. yes. We, we can, can talk. talk. We can talk. We can talk. Yes, we can talk. talk. Mm, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We can talk as cartoons. This is amazing. Imagine all the narrative possibilities. We can sing talk. Let's talk. So what are we going to talk about now? What are we going to talk about now that we can talk? I have no idea. What do you want to talk about? Now that I can talk. No. I, I don't know if I have something to say. We can talk about how magical this is. I'm a hallucination. I want to say something important, something deep. The future is still in our hands. That's cliche dialogue. Let's not talk. All right, guys, I think it's time to slow down these AI releases. I can't keep up.
When I made that comment, I wasn't saying all kobolds are bad and stinky, just the ones from Goblin Town. And it's true. It's true. I didn't do it! I didn't kill your family! Please stop this now! You hate me as much as you hate my mom! You crossed the line this time! <laughs> I still hear you crying in my dreams. We have been married for 60 years. We never sleep without solving our problems first. <laughs> Aye, I tried learning the bagpipes once, nearly got evicted. Even the cat moved out. <laughs> he always says my cooking is not good, but he finishes everything. He knows I make the most delicious food ever. Pineapple? On this? That's a, not pizza, that's a crime scene. <laughs> I should have called. Just once. That's all she ever wanted. You really thought you could stop me with that broken sword? In this family, loyalty isn't a choice. It's your blood. You go against that, you don't come back. You said forever and I believed you now forever's just Sir, the Western Europeans have decided to help us in the war. Thank God. When are their reinforcements arriving? They said they'll be here by 2030, sir. This city, it's incredible. I didn't think I'd see anything this amazing. <laughs> I can't believe this VO3 thing can do dialogue now. A talking muffin! I said pick a card. He picked the table. Then he threw it at me. Not again. Do you think we are in Veo 3? If you cannot tell, does it matter? What's up, Twitter? I'm taking prompts for Veo 3. Reply with what you want to see. Are you still serving breakfast? Girl, I like your shoes. You Your clothes suck, though. I don't like them. Where are the fucking sandwiches? Where are the fucking sandwiches? I want to talk to you about something. Your mom smells like shit. I'm fat. I'm so fat. I need to lose weight. This is a gay bar now. You are now all gay. I am gay, and I spread the gay here. You're... You're hot. Oh. I'm coming out as trans. I'm a woman now. Amen, go home. <laughs>